Well, all the flooding rains in California at the lower elevations mean heavy snow a few thousand feet above. Yeah, Storm Team Meteorologist Dave Downey is looking at totals and impacts across the Sierra Nevada mountain range. After a super snowy January across America's heartland, much of the snow now gone, but the same can't be said west of the Rockies. Totals between two and three feet in just the past few days, very common with some totals six, even seven feet on mountain peaks. Wow, let's look at some of the snowy video from out west. Sites that have become practically foreign to us in the Triangle. Cars needing to be towed became a common sight. The second longest interstate in the country, I-80, at a standstill on Monday afternoon between Sacramento and Reno, Nevada. The snow-capped mountains, which are of course a major source of water and electric power generation across the Continental Divide, now back close to 75% of seasonal average snowfall which is a huge improvement compared to the way we started the season. Speaking of a lack of snow, another day added to this number. We now stand at 738 days in a row without a measurable amount of snow in the triangle. That puts us now at the third longest snowless streak of all time. If we make it to December 16th, we go to second on this list. What do we have to do to get a snow day? I think it calls for a snow dance. Dave Downey. CBS 17 News. I like that snow dance. I don't know if it'll work. But Keep your day job. Right. <laughs> that was fine.